Hey there, this is John from Stormy Studio and this is our new video tutorial for 3D Blocks. It's a new uh, game salad template I've put together. Go ahead and show you the template. It's two scenes. The first one has the normal blocks. So here we are. Um, got the canvas area here, your actors over here. Each block is made up of a middle actor, a left and a right. We also have blue blocks which are scalable versions. Um, they have a few more rules inside them, so I've done two separate versions. So you have a, if you don't need the scale, you can use the standard blocks. If you want the scale in your game, you can use those. It just uses a little bit more processor power. Um, they all run perfectly well on my iPhone 4, silky smooth. Uh, on my MacBook, they normally run fine. It's a bit jumpy with the screen capture software that I'm using at the moment. But um, let's go ahead and preview. So this is the scalable blocks move past. So I'm holding left and right to move the camera. So as you can see, you can move past the blocks, and as the camera goes past, the actors on the side move their position and scale. Um, and as these are the blue blocks, if I press up, they scale up. I can move past them, press down, they scale down. Um, they're all linked to the same scale. Um, but you could easily, you know, duplicate an actor and um, change the setup so they scale individually with with a variation of the rules. Um, but yeah, they work well. I'll show you the uh, standard scene. Here we are with the red blocks. Here we have uh, two side actors back to back and um, a squashed actor. All the um, sides and the middle blocks can be scaled on their height and width, and they still behave um, as you'd expect. Um, so yeah, they, that's that's the basics of the template. I'll show you some of the attributes. Um, so in the attributes tab, we've got um, the left depth, right depth, left field of view, right field of view, and then we maintain the um, camera's position, width, and we've got a scale blocks factor here um, for the scaling blocks. So you can vary these top four to achieve different sort of results. Go ahead to change those the depth to one. Let's preview the standard blocks, and um, you'll see now with these these two blocks that are back to back. Before it looked like it was a, a 3D flat card that you could see the side of as the camera went past, but now as you go past, you can see both sides as if the camera's field of view is wider or the blocks are more triangular. So you can play around with those values and achieve different things. Go ahead and put those back because uh, I find that's the nicest sort of result. You could change these to one and um, the uh, I think it's the depth doesn't kick in so it's a bit further in. So yeah, they, you can play around with those numbers and achieve some exciting maybe not exciting actually, that's a slightly bigger word than it needs to be, uh, achieve some nice effects. Okay, and let's take a look at some of the rules. Um, so we have um, one set which we sort of, not constraining, we just save the initial width and position, which we use those numbers in the rest of the rules. Um, and here we have constraints for the difference between its current position and the cameras, and uh, we also set we sort out its width and its position. And then the third one, it's got a bit of clever maths in both of these, but this one particularly we work out the percentage that the width needs to be depending on where it is in the scene and how big it is. Okay, and there's similar similar rules in the rest of them. We also have a blank actor, which is this multi-use blank actor, and I've just got rules in there so you can move left and right and it moves the camera up and down and it varies the scale attributes. Cool, well um, I'll leave this one here and I'll make a separate tutorial on how you can put your own images in. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the templates, check out this one and my other ones. Um, cheers!